was uh, went to a Sunday school when I was a little girl. So I never forgot the, the teachings I learned about Jesus being our friend, being the son of God. But I didn't really understand the correlation that God was no longer angry at me. And the message that I know that God wanted me to spread among the ladies is that you can come to church, you are loved, you are God's daughter, you're royalty, you're an inheritor of everything that he has, and there's no reason you should be doing this, honestly. There's so much more things that are better for your life than what you're doing right now. And do you realize that you're actually a slave to what you're doing? See, a lot of my friends, they didn't know that they were in slavery. Now they know. And I think what our society needs to do is, like we are doing, and I think it's a great movement that's going on, by the way, the past five years, is shine a light on what's going on with these girls and the boys in our society in the United States. That yes, we understand it happens overseas, but it's happening here too, because of course, most of our buyers from overseas are Americans. Mm -hmm. Not to put down our American citizens, but our problem, I believe, is based on our family structure mm -hmm. and the children are missing either the mother or the father. Like for instance, my father and I didn't get along. Harsh discipline, I was abused, couldn't feel the love. And if our family structure could get, somehow get some healing, we wouldn't have men calling escorts, getting addicted to pornography, women. Women are doing it too now. We wouldn't have sex traffickers and pimps out there from broken homes trying to take advantage of little girls and little boys and selling them. And then we wouldn't have girls like me that had a bad family life reach out to someone that we think loves us that really doesn't. They're just trying to exploit us. So it starts with our families, you know, and obviously the other thing is God is not on the throne when this is happening. He's not. Do you think and, most of the girls that get into this think there's no way out, so they just stay there until they're just worn out? They do. Sorry. I was that girl for so many years, you guys. So many years I thought there is no way that I could ever be anyone, do anything good. Because the sexual sin that comes along with trafficking, it's so deep and so shameful that you don't want anyone to know what you used to do. And I, I, I like to talk about it like this because I like, like to let people know that we are given a scarlet letter, not just from the church, but from society as a whole. Once a whore, always a whore. And we all know that that is a lie from the enemy. And if I would have known what I know now, I would have gotten out of it so much quicker. And in fact, if, I, if there was awareness, if there was even sex trafficking education going on when I was a teenager in the 80s, I might not have ever chosen it as a, a profession. So I think that the more people know about this and the more people that are aware and the more people that are trying to help, like all the great orgs that are popping up now, that I think that the problem has a great light shined on it. And now we have to deal with the other issues. And I think that that will shine the other lights on the other issues that are causing it.